英語聞き流しリスニング、英語テキストと MP3 ダウンロード、その他の物語はホームページからお聞きいただけます。88thpp.com 88thpp.com Adavism My grandfather and I used to go to the department store together when I was a small child. He had a pass that entitled senior citizens to a free ride at the municipal streetcar. He usually said, Not using the free pass is a waste of money, and tried to take the streetcar as much as he could, although he had no place to go. As part of his useless effort, he often went to the department store where he didn't have to go at all and made me accompany him. While he didn't have anything to buy, he strolled around all the floors. To get to the only one different floor, he used the elevator that had an operating girl inside. Who would push the buttons and say the floor information, and the other girl outside, who would close the outside iron door manually? It seemed he enjoyed the ride as a free attraction. His typical behavior was to ask a sales clerk the price whenever he spotted something expensive that he had no intention to buy, and to exclaim loudly. How expensive! He often looked into the costly merchandise that was on display in the glass case, asked the price, cried his how expensive, and just walked on. When he was looking into the glass case of fountain pens intently one time, the sales clerk asked if he wanted her to take some pens out of the case and show them to him. He pointed out one by one, and the clerk put them out on a sheet of velvet. He asked the price each time, and at each answer he exclaimed, How expensive! Outrageous! That much for a pen? Really, really expensive! His loud remarks rang out through the quiet, elegant floor. After five or six p e n d e r laid on the velvet, he just thanked the clerk casually and left the counter as if nothing happened. Even as a small child, I duly sensed his behavior was fundamentally embarrassing. That was why I hated to go out with him so much. In the lunchtime, He would order the most inexpensive noodles at the food court like restaurant on the top floor of the department store. He always ordered one dish for two of us and asked for an empty small bowl to divide the noodles into two. While I ate the smaller portion, he eagerly poured free tea, saying, Make your stomach full with free tea if that's not enough. We usually had a lot of free tea since we were hungry with only one noodle dish, and the huge kettle on our table went empty fast. The table was shared with eight people, and each table had one kettle. He would start going around other tables for a full kettle. Many kettles were sometimes empty, and he would go to the far end of the restaurant for free tea. While checking the remaining content of every single kettle along the way, he would loudly say, Those who pay for a drink are crazy when they have free tea, right next to a customer who was drinking a glass of soda. In those cases, he would return to our table with a full kettle in his hand, as if he had hit a gold mine. Even a small child like me understood that his habit was extremely embarrassing, and I really hated to go out with him. He did all of these things so happily by wearing tattered clothes and shoes with a hole, 
and he clearly enjoyed it immensely. I grew up and noticed there was a terrifying thing such as atavism. When I visit an outlet mall, I first go through price tags to see the percentage of discount, and if the percentage is big enough, only then start looking at the merchandise itself. Last time, my partner asked me to quit that habit of mine. He wants me to look at the merchandise first, then the price tag. I don't order a drink at the food court because it has a free water server. I also bring an empty plastic drink bottle from home and refill it with the free water for later breaks. Those who pay for a drink are crazy when they have free water, I usually murmur in my mind. Audiobook The Family in Kyoto One Japanese Girl Got Freedom by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple Books, Google Play, Audible, 43 available distributors in total. Audiobook Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. ご視聴ありがとうございました。